Iron Skillet Podcast. Back Bring- again. Oh, back again? Do you want to do it? No, Come on, Chad. Tell I'll, I'll, him. I was just making fun He's of just you. hyping you. Oh, okay. <laughs> little hype man. Yeah. Back with a side dish. The first new side dish. Now that we're kind of back. Getting it. We're, we're, I don't even know how to bring this topic in, but because there is a lot to unpack with it. Let this guy do it. He, he came up with the idea. <laughs> Go on. Go on, Trav. <laughs> I mean, everybody knows like, or like sees what's going on with Kanye West. So yeah. let's talk about what's going on with Kanye All West. Right. Well, let me let me let me let me start yes. it off because I don't know where y'all want to take it with this whole Kanye spiel, but I just okay. So everybody knows he just dropped. I think he dropped. Donda 2, his new album, he's on the promo run with it, but he partnered with, uh, I don't know what the company's called, but it's the Stem Player, and uh, he's releasing his album on the Stem Player, you buy the actual player, it's like a, this thing is like, the innovation in this just blew my mind when I watched a video of it, so it's, it's like a little MP3 player, but it'll play the stems and you could solo like, okay, so a stem essentially, I feel like I got to break it all down. I got to break it down. So a stem uh, uh, in music would be like the, the stems of a track would be like your vocals, the, the main instrument, the drums, the bass, it's with everything separated and they call it stems. So, this thing, it, it has four stems. It's got, you know, a little plus thing, and, and you could uh, turn up the volume or turn down and take take a stem out. So you could basically, it changes the way you can listen to a song. It's not just you're listening to the song anymore. It, it gives you options. You could listen to just the beat, take the whole vocal out. You could listen to just the bass line, or you could listen to it without the bass line. And that right there is what sold me. And I think it's so cool. It's like having Pro Tools in the palm of my hand. And I just want to hear my music on it, our music on it. Like yeah. now, and then and, and what we That's talked what, about yeah. is, and, and they said that you have the capabilities to upload music onto the stem player. Um, I just don't know if you have to upload it as a stem, like the individual stems or if it tries to differentiate these stems and then take them out. And the only way I can rationalize it in my head is if they do it by frequency. So they, you know, the frequency range of where the bass would be, they, you know, solo that and take it out. But I feel like if they do that, it's going to be muffled or drowned. Yeah, like, have you ever, I mean, of course you have. I've done it. You've gone in your EQs and Pro Tools and and it drowns. It basically sounds muffled or drowned. It doesn't sound right. So I feel like there's no way that that's possible to, like, do it by frequency. It's got to be, like... It's got to be a stem upload. It's got to be a stem upload. And, like, in my opinion, I think it's overplayed. Like, it's... What do you mean? The hype. It's not... I think it's... You could have done this on an app on your iPhone. Like, you don't need this little fucking... It's Kanye. He always has to, like... Well, well yeah. okay, but, but okay. Sure. No, that, man, take the Kanye <laughs> out because this was a company. Like, Kanye, from what I've read, like, and I could be completely wrong, but from what I've read is Kanye partnered with the STEM player company to package his new album to be sold. So, and in turn, when a STEM player gets sold, a sale for his album. And basically, you know what I mean? So it's like they've partnered together. That's from what the understanding I have of it. But that the innovation with that and music, like I wish I had that 10 years ago to listen to music. I think there would have been more innovation if you put it on my iPhone because I don't want to carry it I mean, no, I get you. And, and, and one <laughs> of the yeah. big deterrents of why I haven't already ordered one is it acts like a shuffle. But it's not a shuffle. It's like an iPod shuffle where it doesn't have a display screen. You can't mm-hmm. even like you can't even like Bluetooth it to something to have a disp- display screen or nothing. It's just that. I'm I'm not too sure, but yeah, there is no display screen. There's an aux cord USB, um, but it plays the songs in the order you upload to it. So you got to know what order they're in when you're skipping through to find the songs. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if it had a display screen, I'd have been sold. I'd so already have I'm, one. We'd be sitting here playing with it right now. Yeah, I agree that like this is a this could be a thing, but I don't agree with like how they did it. Like without like 
you were talking about doing it for like live shows and stuff. You'd have to like go in every time and upload your track list in that order. And you can't just go through and like do it on an iPad, you know, like, I mean, it's kind of a pain in the ass, but like, Mm. like for me, uh, like the way I perform, like I could do it because I just, I'd have that in my hand or like just sitting down. I don't know. Maybe not. And at the same time, thing about it, I probably couldn't, but it'd be cool. And at the same time, like if I was DJing and not rapping, right. oh, I could do it easy. At the same time, like you, I feel like you want to practice for your show, so you want to actually like pre-mix that those dropouts and stuff. Yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, for so, sure. Like, in the same, in the sense of having it for a live show, it wasn't wouldn't really make sense either. Yeah. True. True. So like <laughs> when I saw it, the first thing I thought I didn't understand, and I saw you tweet about it, but I was like, I don't understand the. Like what's so enticing about being able to do that? Yeah, I, I mean I see maybe it as a if, kids' toy. Like if you want to listen to songs without certain parts in them, that makes sense. Yeah, but I think the majority of people don't. I don't think the average listener of music is going to be excited about dropping things out and bringing them back in. Yeah. Anyone that's into that is going to be someone that's into music. No, I feel you. I see. I think that. And then it's hold on, just, hold on. Let me ahead, get this ahead, up. My bad. And then, so the only application that I thought would be cool about it was if I was live Uh and I was like, okay, that would be another dynamic that I could do where I could literally just like pre-plan like and make it a spectacle. You Mm. know what I mean? Like you have it, it's a piece, it's like a prop. So you're making it part of your show right? and you're dropping something out and you're, you're going ham when Mm -hmm. you do it. And then you're performing and bringing it back and it makes that dynamic mm-hmm. like that's kind of cool to me. But then I was like, am I going to be even able to put my own music on there? You know what I mean? Like how is it? And if so, you can, but you might need the stems. Yeah. And it's like, so I don't know. It just seems like it's just not super accessible. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like it doesn't. I see it as like a novelty item. It, okay. Yeah. It definitely is more of a novelty item. I've definitely, I'll say that. I think it's just a new way of indulging in music. Like, it's just a different way to listen to music. Some people like listening to a vinyl player. Some people just pull it on their phones. Some people might like to pull out their stem player and, you know, drop the bass out or put, you know what I mean? Just It's just a different way to listen. I think if they put this on Kickstarter without Kanye, it wouldn't have gone as far as it's gone. But, and see, and that's why it was smart for STEM player to partner with Kanye because it gave them a bigger push than they already had. Yeah. It and reminds then, me of like a, like a, a grown up, but like not a grown up, like a, like a kid's toy, but like for like, I don't know. Grown ups. Grown ups. Yeah. yeah. I don't know what I'm trying to say, but you, you know, no, for sure. Cause like, I see what you're saying. And I think for you as an individual, it would, you would be so hyped oh, man, to get I would, it. I would love it. I'd be but, in the gym with that joint. Like, all right, but fuck that bass track. <laughs> who else do you, like, who can, of the average person? I could care less. But I'm saying from a business standpoint, I'm not asking if you care less. I'm saying from a STEM player standpoint, as mm-hmm. a business, mm-hmm. as a product. Who do you think your target market Who are you targeting with that? And how many people are actually going to buy? I don't care. Know. Kanye, just, Kanye you know, fans. That's really yeah, it. Yeah, definitely. I get it. I and get if it. they didn't partner with Kanye. Hey, I'm not saying this thing is is going to sell millions or billions. Like I, I see the musical innovation, the innovation of it. And it's, I don't know. I think it's ahead of its time, but still behind the curve. Like, I feel like we should have had something like this. But well, I mean, I, we do. It's Pro Tools. You yeah. can do it in Pro Tools. But just, that's what I'm saying. Now, your that stu- now it's in a small, track, you know? like, mm-hmm. small little AirPod case size, you know, player. I I think for me, it, what would be enticing to me is I like the idea of it. Mm-hmm. But the only, like I said, the only draw to me is like, how if, how could I make my live performance more engaging? So like if it was something where I could literally be up there and just dropping things out and I could visibly see really well what was going on and like, uh-huh. but it's like this little small, I don't know. For, so for me, it's not like anything right. I would utilize. But so for you, you would look at it as a live performance. That's how I would me, look at I'm it. Just, I think it'd just be fun just to have at the crib at home. I think... I think the target market, in my opinion, is like young k- kids who uh, 
buy every pair of Yeezys. Yeah, for sure. It's like a hype beast thing. Yeah, hundred like percent. Yeah, people are gonna. Yeah, it's gonna be like it's like supreme. You no, know? yeah. So it's I think it's a novelty item that has con that's that Kanye stamps. So people who are obsessed with like Kanye's terrible fashion <laughs> want to buy it and pair it with that terrible fashion. <laughs> I think. I think this is something that <clears throat> I think they've only scratched the surface with with this innovation and I think there's a lot of there's still a lot more innovation to it like I said if they threw a display screen in it or you know what I mean made or made app. more buttons that do more what made it an app on your phone Well there you go that'd be yeah. the easiest way to make a display screen is have it bluetooth to your phone and but I'm telling you this this is just scratching the surface the it still blows my mind that this Not, is a thing. And this yeah. is a big thing for me is like for you to want to listen to everyone's music that you like, they have to be partnered and licensed with that company. Like they have to be, there's probably not going to be a lot of music accessible, like, See, like gotta, famous music because yeah, you're going to have to go, get the stems of I every needed, famous I need to do song. more research because I've only seen a couple videos of it. And one dude put the like Mario or Donkey Kong theme song on it and then was doing it which but, yeah. makes me think they do it by frequency mm. i don't know i can't see I how they would see do how that they would, yeah i don't know i opinion, don't know either yeah. i that's what i'm saying like I, I need to get one to you know who's got one or i don't know if it came in yet but i seen g real order one you know he fucks with kanye i fuck with kanye too i like his music not so much the newer stuff but i'm not gonna hate teach their own um do you like his fashion no, nah, definitely not. Do you <laughs> see what I wear? Like, come on. <laughs> I guess somebody agree with me. <laughs> I like some of his stuff. I'm not gonna lie. I some like of some the Yeezys of his, are Some dope. of his Yeezys, I yeah. think, are dope. Yeah. Some of his like the hoodie. I like. The, I'm into the, the neutral. Like, what about the foam? Yeezy foam things. I don't think I don't even know. The, um, the ones that look like big Crocs? No, yeah. no, 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 yeah, no, no. Weird. I'm not about that life. That's the hype beast. Like, I know. Like, no matter I, what it looks like, like Balenciaga. But you got to be different. The sports yeah, shoes are so shoes. ugly. Yeah. I'm not, People I'm, are like, oh, I got Balenciagas because they're $1,000. <laughs> <laughs> and they look like Sorry. some Skechers. It's, yeah, well, it no, look like some true. Skechers. Yeah. It's kind of true. They look like the fucking shoes that you wear in a kitchen. They're black fucking yeah. weird oh, shoes. Oh, non-slick shoes. Yeah, that's what they look like. Dude, I swear they make those and sit, put Balenciaga on them and just say, look at these motherfuckers. They're going to buy expensive. these. <laughs> now, the <laughs> it's almost like they make these whack-ass you know, just models test, just to test it. Like, like how yeah. stupid will people be? <laughs> how much will they buy them for? I'm telling you, they do that shit. And, and y'all dumb probably motherfuckers cheap buy it. Too. <laughs> they probably make them cheap. Oh, dude, they're probably those, cheaper than Nikes. Dude, those Balenciagas, they had to make them for like less than $4. Mm -hmm. And they're selling them for 750 800 bucks. Yeah, I don't know. <clears throat> it's on my. You just gotta build range. up your name, and then you could just sell anything. I mean, Kanye's yeah. selling ripped shirts. But I shirts do now. like some yeah. of. I like some of Kanye stuff. I'm not gonna lie. Like some of the neutral basic stuff. Like I'm into that vibe. Like hoodies, tees, like that. Not basic, everybody's gonna know? like everything. You know what I mean? Yeezys. I'm a fan. I'm a fan. I wanted. I wanted some Yeezys. Just couldn't. Couldn't. You know, couldn't break it. off that much you money. Need to holla at Jet. Jet be getting them. That's how I. Yeah, I need to. I need. How to he's broke. Them. He'd be, he'd, man, he'd, he'd be, be staying with some Yeezys, though. He got them. I gotta he figure got that out. fake ones. <laughs> oh, no, nah, they real. Know. They <laughs> real. I ain't gonna let him cloud you, Jet. I ain't gonna let him cloud you. <laughs> nah, but yeah. The STEM player, we'll see. You gotta I think get it's one. a bust. I will. I, get one, bring it on the podcast. I, uh, play with it. <laughs> I, I put it on they? my Santa list. I told Santa. How much are they? 200. Oh, yeah, I think it's a bust. But like I said, like, like I, I want a display screen. Like, I'm hoping they come out with like a. You know, another version of it, and then I, I want a fucking display screen. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a I'm a holla at G Real and be like, yo, did you get that stem player in? Like, did you put How's one of your songs work? on it yet? Yeah. Like, yeah, was it any good? I, I'm very curious. No, yeah, same, same. I just don't under I don't understand all the intricacies intricacies of it yet. There's a lot of things we don't understand, Shaw. <laughs> but yeah. it, you know, it's the world. It makes it, sense true. to somebody. That's true. That's true. But yeah, we gotta get, you gotta hit him up. See how it goes. Uh, Anything else you want to chime in jamming on? outside. Yeah, I that? think that's outside. They, they playing. Look, they I, I ain't going to lie. Like our new studio, we are downtown, somewhere downtown. I ain't going to throw it out there, but we downtown, downtown. Like, So don't be surprised if you hear some sirens going by <laughs> or something. I mean, you might have heard it earlier in this podcast, but we do a great job of just keeping it rolling and yeah. acting like ain't nothing going on out there. <laughs> 
<laughs> no, for sure. What else do you want to touch on on this Kanye I mean, side dish? Uh, do y'all want to get into the mental health thing of Kanye? I mean, like what he's I, going through? He's just, he just got banned from uh, Instagram. Instagram. No he got, way. Yeah. He got banned from I'm not the, hip. I don't know what's going on. He got banned from the music awards. Yeah. What? Yeah. Why? VMA, VMA, was it he's VMAs? He's wildin'. Dude, he's wildin'. He's wildin'. What huh? it, hold on, hold on. Wait a minute. Wait, 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 wait. Let me bring it back. He got banned from Instagram. Yes. Yes. My man Freddie Gibbs get ba- gets banned from Instagram every three weeks. How did Kanye get banned from Instagram? He's wilding on Instagram. Um, oh, he's just saying stuff? Or? Yeah, I mean about Pete Davidson and shit. Like, oh, yeah. so he's bullying. Yeah. I get it. Okay. Yeah, that's probably what it is. Yeah. Though. Uh, I didn't yeah, yeah, dig yeah. into it too deep, but I know he's like... I mean, the big thing is, like, he's... Uh, and it's not to say it's here or there. I mean, he's he's putting... His whole family's business out lie, there yeah. online mm. and making it like for everyone to see. Everybody you know? does that though. Not he's like that. Not like did not like he's not, doing. You, I, don't know. You, I, I haven't yeah. seen. I haven't. I don't follow him, so I don't know. But I mean, I I think it's important to bring the mental health part into it mm-hmm. because like it's he's known. He's said openly he has bipolar disorder, and like I being very close with people that have bipolar disorder, like it's you know a manic episode you know and when you're in a manic state there's no there's no sense of reality and not reality yeah and everything that would matter to you normally it's like there's no you know those lines are so blurred and there's no way to like bring it back in and I don't know the dude, obviously so I don't know if he's getting help or if you know what I mean or it but I'll, I, mean, I think, I think uh, allegedly, according to like Kim K, he's like not getting help. Yeah. Like he's not even trying to get help. Yeah. Allegedly. I don't I mean. Yeah. This is all. Which is. Whatever. Yeah. Who knows? But. Like, did you know what he did on, on uh, Valentine's Day? Mm-hmm. Like he was dating that Julia Fox girl mm-hmm. at on Valentine's Day, but he sent like a truck to Kim K's, in front of Kim K's house, like full of roses and like, uh, <sighs> like just like weird shit. Yeah. And like, um, what did you see the text messages from him and him and Skeet? He yeah. calls Pete Davidson Skeet. Yeah, Skeet Davidson. Yeah, kind of he funny. does. <laughs> yeah, he does. Well, he also had that music video where he chops his head off and shit. I heard about that, but I didn't see. It. I didn't watch. The I video. didn't watch it either. Kind of. Yeah, it was uh him and Game. I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, but yeah, he like texted. Um, he texted Pete Davidson and like tried to like meet up with him. Like, I don't even know if he was trying to fight him or what. Yeah, yeah. And Pete was like, I'm in bed with your wife right now. Like kind of just fucking with him. But at the same time, at the, he was like, I just, I want to see. Or he, he said, come to Sunday service. Like telling yeah. Pete to come to Sunday service. And didn't say anything about his kids and that. He yeah. just said, come to Sunday service. And then he went on a rant and was like, I just want to see my kids. I told him to bring, my, told them to bring my kids to Sunday service. And they won't bring me my kids. And like, dude, like. If you're having kid problems, why are you putting that on yeah. online? Like, yeah. go, through, say, go the, through court. The worst yeah. part of all yeah. that is you know all the details. Everybody knows, like, all the details exactly. are out like, there. Yeah. Like, But I'm also not one to put my personal life out there, so I'm, I can't sure. speak on somebody else. And he's, like, he's making it out to be, like, it's not – it. he's putting it out there because there's gatekeepers or whatever keeping him from seeing his kids, like, like – the Illuminati basically like keeping it from keeping him from seeing his kids. I'm like, no, nah, dude, she doesn't want you to see your kids because you're acting like a fucking nutcase. He's and it's like it's like I'm saying this just because from my perspective, being pe- close to people in my family that have bipolar disorder, it's that in itself is traumatizing. Like the things mm-hmm. that go on when someone's manic, like truly manic, it's really hard to go through that and it's really hard to uh i don't know to to see how those lines get blurred uh-huh. and it's scary because you never know like you just don't know like uh-huh. everything is so unstable and sh- shaky so it's it's really hard to say like obviously what the reality of kanye's situation is like what his family dynamic is like but like i i hope that if he really is like manic and struggling if that's really what it is and i hope that he you know does get some help because it's i've seen scary things happen you know in those ways and i you know what i mean i don't wish that on anybody i don't think i honestly don't think he is getting help like i think he just thinks that like he's right no for sure you can tell like and like no one can tell him what is right or wrong he's he's right or whatever i don't know 
what if this is a big game? Like, it's like, another like thing. A, like That's this another is just a promo run. Yeah, I mean, I mean it'd be sad. We've That'd seen be... crazy promo runs before from other artists, you yeah. know? Like, but I mean that it, that would be pretty fucked up because you know we're talking about kids, kids involved. involved. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I don't know. I don't think it is. I don't know. I uh, <clears throat> I did watch uh, Genius. Yes, the I first. I watched the first episode and it was so inspiring. I wrote like three songs what that, is it? that week. Genius What's on, that? Netflix. It's on Netflix. It's a documentary, Kanye documentary. Oh, I'm not gonna watch it. So <laughs> one of like this like goes way back to the to the late or mid '90s, like. And uh, I forget the I forget his his buddy's name that was his videographer that did the whole thing. Oh, it starts with a C. I don't know because I haven't watched that yet. It's, yeah, I've been meaning to. Same Clarence. videographer does the whole thing, huh? Clarence. I think it starts with a C, like Cootie or something, or cut. I, it's not Cuddy, anyways. Uh, but it's very inspiring seeing like his whole like the come up and you know it starts with him making beats for people in the shy and and the people he's fucking with there and then he goes to new york and i can't remember what tracks before he got signed with rockefeller he was doing beats for you know so and so this and that and like just watching the whole process and like you watch and you're like damn like he did and look I'm talking to Kanye, the come up Kanye. I'm not talking about yeah. now Kanye. Like yeah. he deserved everything that he got. Like the the fame, the record deal, the you know the plaques. Like that dude fucking grinded, grinded yeah. and he did not take no for an answer. And if you told him no, he went twice as hard. Mm -hmm. Like like watching that. Like that's how an artist needs to act. If they want that's what, well, any recognition, yeah. that's all fine. And Dandy, like I agree that like yeah, he 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 come put up, in the come work. up was good, but he like put in the work. But like what he's doing now is not. Oh, it's I not, mean, yeah, it, you have you yeah. have that big of a voice, and you're acting a fucking fool out here. Like, no, I get wild. it, I get it. I'm not, I'm not siding with him. In yeah. fact, I I could really care less about the situation personally. But uh, but yeah, I I still respect him as an artist. Yeah, I have hella respect for him as an artist, like, <clears throat> and I mean, everyone's taste is different, so I'm sure it's not, I don't think it's Travis's cup of tea to do Kanye? music, yeah, I don't think it's Travis's cup of tea, but I, I definitely, like, uh, honestly, it's it's not even about his music that, it, I just don't like him as a person. So it's like, can't even listen to it. Yeah, yeah. so I'm like, not gonna support it. Yeah. I, per like, I respect him as an artist, but like, I haven't, I haven't really liked the music he's been putting out since, like... My Dark and Twisted Fantasy. Oh, that's a minute Like, ago. after that, like, I'm, I wasn't a fan of Yeezus, the Pablo. I didn't, I heard a little bit of Donda, but, like, There's some I'm talking about, there. like, I fuck with College Dropout, Late Registration. Yeah. Those are bangers. My Dark and Twisted Fantasy. What was the other one? Yeah, I supported Graduation. Back. Like, mm -hmm. those yeah. were I supported him back. Like I bought, I bought his album, Infinity's album, the same, same day. Same day. Me too. Same like day. You both the same day. The, yeah. What was that? Uh, graduation and, and Curtis. 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 Yeah. Yep. I bought them both too. But I don't know. It's. I think graduation was better personally. I just think that like if you have that big of a voice and you're and you're the youth is watching you like that and you know like yeah yeah straight no, up. I feel you. Yeah. I feel you. Like try. Yeah. We would yeah. all think to you know you you would we would carry ourselves that way but right. you know what i mean who's to you ain't walking in those jesus yeah <laughs> or Yeezys, whatever Yeezys. 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 Sure. Yeezys. i mean it's definitely i mean like i'm always like i'm an empathic person so it's like yeah i have no idea the amount of pressure that he's under i have no idea like you know what i mean what really goes on in that guy's life so it's like i'm not here to judge i'm only i'm just saying like i hope and it's really pray that if he needs, if that's really what it is, like he needs help, I really hope that he finds it, if that's the case. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? And he gets to a point where he can, you know what I mean, be positive on both fronts, positive with the music and a positive person out in the community. Uh -huh. Yeah, like, like remember, uplifting remember when he was like, what, what year, 08, 08, when it was like doing all the vote, vote yeah. shit and like how... Yeah. He was back then. Like, where'd all that go? Yeah, yeah, and it would be it would be dope to see mm -hmm. that to see both, like the music is killing it, your fashion is killing it, and then 
at your presence in in the community as far as hip-hop and everything is just uh-huh. positive. Yeah. It has felt like the past five years, every time something is attached to Kanye's name, it's just it's a negative. Whole Somebody's got to be the bad guy. Know? Yeah. So. Skeet is. Apparently. <laughs> is, is that what it is? Skeet <laughs> Davidson. I love Pete Davidson, though. You're Pete Pete fan. I'm a big SNL fan, so of course, I mean. Yeah, Does he still sure. do it? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. A hundred percent. And he like made them stop making fun of Kanye. Yeah. He, he did? He made the writers stop making fun of Kanye on SNL. After he did the skit? Yeah. Like I, after like he was like, this is affecting my fam, my, his new my family. My personal you know, life. Oh, yeah. So he's like, sure, sure, yeah, so he's yeah. like, we need to uh, stop doing, stop uh-huh. fucking with Kanye. Yeah. Just leave it, leave it be. But like he's a big man. He's a bigger, I feel like he's being the bigger man right now. Yeah. Yeah. For sure. It's a touchy subject, man. I mean, he is with his baby mama. Yeah. I mean, like, come on. Like, <laughs> yeah. We we see this all too often. Like, yeah. whether you're famous or not, like, do you always get a, get along with the, you know, the baby dads uh, yeah, or whatever? Yeah, yeah. You, know you break what it mean? down I'm to like... Saying, the... <laughs> like, when you break it down. Yeah. Yeah. It's, yeah, it's wild. It's, it's you just gotta be the They're big, just at a, a level of, of fame the, where it's yeah. it's on blast. You just got to be the bigger person when it comes to that situation, I feel like. I mean, shit didn't work out, didn't work out. I'm really interested to that, see. So the Kardashians ended their show on E, like that run uh, ended it. Can we clap for that? No. Oh. I'm, I watch the Kardashians. I don't care who makes fun of me. That's my guilty pleasure. <laughs> and you can make fun of me in the comments all you want. I still watch it. You got a couple guilty pleasures. <laughs> hey, just, yeah. I don't I'm care. talking about TV, okay? Yeah. She watches the challenge, I right? do watch the just challenge. Chill. I let's, like, let's air Shatour out yeah, right now. Yeah, I know. <laughs> What, what's the other one? Smallville? Yeah, or right. no, you're okay, Smallville. you're just throwing them all out there. I did watch Smallville. Anyways, we're going to get Anatomy. off of me. We all go, hey, we all got our, our guilty you know, pleasure TV shows. All right, I ain't it's knocking all good. you. It's all good. Go ahead. Do you think? But uh, but now I lost my... Oh, they're relaunching, <laughs> they're relaunching it on Hulu. And it's like... I'm canceling it's my Hulu subscription tomorrow. It's everything that's been going on. Just kidding. It's attached to your Disney Plus. You account. know, I'm interested to see. Yeah. How much of this? Yeah, is but it's, portrayed. it's media. They're gonna they're gonna fucking portray it however they want. Oh, for sure. Look at, look at the news. I mean, we I know. Might get political. With, sorry. We no, know with social media. Why do they even need a TV show? Yeah. I mean, we know with vlogs how you can easily, you can easily yeah, manipulate can it. Manipulate a storyline for sure. Or if they take it straight to YouTube. You know what I mean? You know. I already saw the trailer. It's coming on Hulu. Oh, oh, for the final season. They just relaunched it. A new, a whole new they show. Oh, a whole it, new yeah. show. Oh, yeah. sorry. I'm, I'm just. Yeah. We talked about Kardashian. I was like, oh. <laughs> hey, I forgot. Everyone hates on me. I'm gonna catch I'm so hating, much hate hating. in these comments. I know What's it. What's so entertaining about it? I don't know. I've been watching it forever. They're celebrities, bro. I've literally been watching it since the first season. So it's just so crazy to see all these things that have gone on. You know what I mean? And then there are some really great like moments, like mental like, health moments that yeah. I'm like, damn, like it's kind of relatable. It's nice to know, like your family's not the only one that uh-huh. goes through some yeah. s- hard things. You know what I mean? With that. But yeah, Like whatever. the jacuzzi stops working and stuff like that. <laughs> I'm just playing. Look, I'm going to be, <laughs> I know I'm going to catch so much hate for this. I'm just kidding. Uh, if just you funny. or somebody you know funny. is suffering from a <laughs> mental illness, Please reach out and get help. We'll put the we'll put a uh, phone number. I didn't mean to laugh on that. I'm, we'll that's a, a serious thing for real. Yeah, we'll Please put a phone help. number down here. You know, you or somebody you know. No, for sure. That's a real. That's a real thing. Like to. Mm-hmm. That's a positive serious. way to bring this back. Like regardless of what's going on in the media and what I mean, everyone's gonna have their opinion, but at the end of the day, like we'll never we'll maybe, never downplay mental yeah, health. The, at ever and like he might be really struggling right now. So, like that's definitely not anything to be ashamed of like mm-hmm. reaching out and getting and talking to somebody or getting getting some advice on how to get yourself out of that type of headspace mm-hmm. so if you want to talk to us give us a call call in call in now call in now <laughs> we don't have a call in oh, number sh- i thought we did <laughs> no but can i send this one off y'all get sure. yeah. last words nope tune in on the next episode of keeping up with the iron skill i hate you <laughs> for that <laughs>